So I've tried a few experiments here to sort out what's going on here, and I discovered that if I uh, change this setting here, so this is the um, voltage, the supply voltage. So this converts the 12 volts coming in through here uh, to the 5 volts that's required to run this thing. This thing has got a 3.3 volt um, regulator on it as well, and that supplies the logic for the rest of the uh, rest of the boards. If I turn this, I've normally I've been setting this to just over 5 volts, and that seems to bring out the worst in the servo. I've been turning this down to about 4.4 volts, and this starts behaving much, much better. This starts getting smoother. Uh, however, that's also when it no longer has enough power to actually run this thing. So this just resets. That gives me the clue that there's something afoot here to do with the power supply, and that made me think, well, okay, the signal on this is coming from here. The signal for the um, for the servo motor is coming from the ESP32 here, and that is a 3.3 volt. The supply for it is a 5 volt. Well, there's you can see there's something funny going on there. So I've replaced the, or oh, I'm just about to replace on this particular machine, the uh, 5 volt with the 3.3 volt, and that seems to solve it in the cases that I've come across so far. Maybe uh, that was obvious to everybody. Uh, it wasn't obvious to me, or at least uh, as long as I didn't think about it, it wasn't particularly obvious. Uh, the first, I don't know, two dozen boards I've made, the first two dozen machines I've made haven't really shown a problem. There's been a few little twitches here or there, but there's not been very, not been very repeatable. It could be to do with what I'm setting the voltage to. It could be something else. Who knows what that? Who knows what that is? Um, I'm going to update all these. All the ones I've currently got, and from now on, I'm going to change these to use 3.3 volt for that, and hopefully that should make that better and not introduce any other problems.